He's only gone and done it. Five years of Prousey. Oh, yes. How good's that? I love it, mate. Let's roll it. All right, hello and welcome to the Match Day Vlogs YouTube channel. As always, please remember to smash that like button and hit subscribe because it really does, really does make a difference to the channel. Is this the third night this week we've done? Yeah, we know. We're giving them all the content they could possibly need, but you know what we're doing, don't you? Because life we is do... so bright at St. Mary's. <laughs> So again, we've we've come on live for some very special news. That, that let's just get straight to it because we're all super happy about it. Yeah, our boy is signed. <sighs> five five years. years, five years. The twenty-six-year-old has signed a five-year contract, which would effectively take him through to the age of thirty-one, if my math serves me correct. He's twenty-six. Yeah, Southampton legend already. Love it. Yeah. I love everything about it, mate. He's uh he's he's just uh he's done what we've all all wanted. He's put I think I think out of all the business that could have happened in this transfer window, surely this is the best bit. Like it sounds it's crazy to say, but who would have thought Yeah <laughs> okay, at this point we're like the best thing that has happened is this five year five year deal. Eighteen years he's been at the club, mate. Eighteen years. That's mad, absolutely mad. And you know and he's just like, you know what? I'm gonna give it right back to you. Gonna indeed, give it right back indeed. to you. He's he's our boy. He's our golden boy. He's take he's taken over Latiz. So sorry, Matt. Um, till you sort your Twitter out. More Prouse is <laughs> our, our only hero. <laughs> oh man, uh, let's uh, let us know where you're watching from in the chat section. I'm always fascinated where people are watching from. We actually have someone from from Australia, someone from the south of France. It, it's all over so, so, Southampton representing global, which I absolutely love. Um, so let us know where you're watching from in the chat section. Let us know what you think of this amazing news um, and how bright it's made your day because um, it certainly cheered us up. Obviously, we're going into the home fixture at Man United, uh, home fixture at St Mary's against Man United. So we're all super excited about that. Um, so let's have a look at some of these. God, there's some fruity comments in here. I Already, there's, eh? <laughs> there's much, there's mucho joy in the uh, in the chat section here. Chris of forty three, my captain. Uh, I'm going to put this one up. It's a little bit fruity, but, you know, the sentiment's there. There it is. Um, we so. are flippings on this channel. Thank you very much. Flips. <laughs> Flips and hex. Oops. A little bit spicy uh, for the broadcast, but there we go. Um, how much are we... Do you know the ins and outs of, of the deal? I'm I'm guessing... Give him, give him 500k a week. I don't care. <laughs> Do you reckon it's above 100k a week? I feel like all that money that they have gotten off the books from who Lamina, Buffa, all those players have all just Maybe. gone straight into War Prowse's pocket. Maybe. Here you are, bud. Have all, of, have all of this. That's true. Yeah, I yeah. think he will be. I think that money that they probably would have put. Be, ooh, oh, love to celebratory hear it. drink. Is my yeah. is my audio all right tonight? Because I know it's on the last night's stream. It's a bit crackly with some interference. So no, let me know. Hear, I didn't hear know that this end. But you know, then again, I was being kicked out every five minutes of that one. So it's uh, <laughs> it was hard to keep track, really. No, like, I feel like any money that they offered, uh, you know, Danny Ings of like, you're right, you're going to be the highest paid player, you know, to stay. I think they're now yeah, change, right? Exactly. So they're like, right, this is where this is where our future is. This is um, it's in more prowess. And you look at that, and along with the sign with, with Theo and the academy players coming through and the young players that we're buying, there's a new. Well, it's not a new, but there's a direction that Southampton are going in, and I think it's quite clear. And it is that we make the best talent. Yeah, and the thing that hasn't worked for us the past few years is buying slightly older players, people that you know that are worth. You know, you look at the, uh, I guess, like, well, the Laminas, Buffals, those sort of players. Mm -hmm. We're not doing that. We're buying. We're going to buy young players, and we're going to bring them up, and they're going to be wicked. There's I love nothing... the way you're describing those players as elderly. I love well, that. Not, but elderly compared to what we would, what we would, what we're buying now. Right. Yeah. Yeah. In their That's in their twenties, mid twenties. Yeah, you know, absolutely. now it's now it's twenty three. Is your is your is your top? My audio is fine, apparently. Jolly good. 
good, good, good. Which is a shame because the audio is really the only thing that we've got on this channel. Like, <laughs> it's the one thing we've got above. It's got to be right. People. It's got to be right. It's got to be right. Um... It's got to be right. <laughs> it's always there. It's always there if I need it. Always jealous. Always jealous of those buttons there. I mean, it, this obviously puts to bed the, the, the rumours of... Oh, Aston Villa are lurking. And in fact, there were a couple of questions on last night's stream that I didn't go into because I thought if we go down that rabbit hole, it's gonna we're just going to stay there forever. So I apologise. We I had guests up... last night. We weren't we going to make guests. a scene. I had to keep it on point. I didn't want to go too far into that subject. But actually, after the stream, you said to me, Jay, you said, have you seen that there was a price tag put on him, which yeah. you later told me came from the direction of, of Aston Villa? But, you know, th there was numbers being put around in terms of the value of, of what it was. And I think, you was it, was it 50 million, I think? 50 million was the uh, this price tag that was going around, um, reported from a few places, including the Athletics. So that makes me think it was probably a very legitimate uh, number that they put on him. Yeah. But, you know, now I would expect that would probably be, if that came out of something, that might now be what maybe a buyout clause might be for him. If that was, in, in, I, I doubt that's involved, but, you know. Right. But it does just sound more like... Aston Villa media stirring stuff up and uh yeah I'm not, I'm not a big fan of Aston Villa right now you know <laughs> it, all, it all just seems to be Melvi and uh <laughs> you know just got gossip coming out of there don't like it don't like what it's done with too much stress but now it's fine because he's staying yeah yeah absolutely and you know lots of people have been saying you know uh, okay you know two years ago Jack Grealish signed a, a, a five six year contract but the point is it it's protection of a player, isn't it? If you've yeah. got five years left on your contract, that means some serious coin has to come in to pry you away from the club, you know, and, that, and that's that's really what these contracts are all about, you know, contract extension in, in regards to we were, we're going to pay you for this period of time at this amount of money, but it also means that there's a bit more protection in the transfer window. Do you see, where do you see Aston Villa going now? Um, Nowhere, James really. Madison. I think... Oh, that, I mean, yeah, sure. Ma yeah, that was just... I, um, I, I still... I look at the Villa squad and, you know, they didn't look good at the weekend. You know, they, they also lost and it was uh, only a, only because Danny got a penalty that they were that they did it any better than us. Mm. And um, I do kind of already see that sort of team that, uh, you know, you start, you bring a lot of players in and they don't instantly gel. You bring a 30, you know, a 28, 20, 28, 29-year-old Danny Ings and a uh, what's the mate from Norwich? He's must be he's 23, 24 now, and Boy, you know, yeah, yeah so you know, that rings it kind of looks to me of a, of a, of a team that's going to take a while to gel and be cohesive. I, that, whatever that means, their struggle this season, I think, who knows, but I don't think they'd be as they'd be thinking they're in the spots that they were last that they were hoping for or what they were thinking about. You yeah, know? I don't yeah. see them pushing for top six, but that's just one man's opinion. No, I, I don't. I don't. I, th I think there. You, you know, you had that amount of new players to your squads. It doesn't secure anything. I mean, it wasn't no. that long ago. Fulham spent a hundred million on players. That's what I always think of. I always think of that that era of Fulham where they're shirt and you're like, what is going on here? What are these players? And oh my god, they just it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, this question here from Joe, uh, who's a member, so I'm sticking his comments up as always. Oi, oi. Uh, thoughts, thoughts on links with Kaletika. Do you know? That? Um, I, I I keep seeing that name pop up. That's not one I've read too much into. The three that I've sort of saw today were um, Sh uh, Sean Longstaff from uh, Newcastle. Mm. That was a fun one. Uh, Thierry Small from Everton, and Tosin Adebayo from uh, Fulham. Fulham. Yeah. So those were the so one. Uh, you know, Sean Longstaff is uh, you know middle of the park. But was saying how he you know. You've not seen too much from him yet, Have you, unless you've seen his debut goal for Newcastle, which is an absolute ripper. Mm. Apart from that, I don't. All I've all I really know from is um for the four hole uh, golf challenge on YouTube, so the tube channel. So I've seen him play golf more than I've really watched him. And then Thierry Small was a left back, so <laughs> yes, mm. Thierry Small was a le yes, please let's have a left back because uh yeah, Gin those G places. Gineppo in that position. Listen, you talk to a lot of people. You know, we you talk to you know even from last night's chat, people can see Gineppo could be a really good attacking player for us. Yeah. He still just, very young. Still, still very, very young. young. Still has to learn a lot of stuff, and he's not going to learn that having to play fullback. Yeah, you know, he, he might get his strength up and this and that, but what we 
what he can do better than anybody else in the team is take it to the byline, cut it in, dribble around players. He, he just needs their confidence enough to cut inside and go down the middle, attack a bit more stra- straightforward and be, um, you know, be clinical when he gets that final third, whether he makes a pass off or whether he takes a shot. He just needs, he needs to build that confidence up. So putting him at left back for me is not where I want him to be. So that's why I think Thierry Small from Everton, that's something we that's something we should we should definitely look at. And then uh, yeah. Adibayo is six foot five in the centre back. Set pieces, mate. Get him in. Get <laughs> that him in. Sounds very Vestergaard like, doesn't it? Exactly. I mean, com- coming here from Joe, maybe we're keeping our best players, but playing it smart because Ings and Vestergaard deals were good for us. They were good. I mean, yeah. you look at that. We had there's two players with both with a year left on their contracts, and we got what close to fifty million quid for it. So yeah. that's decent business. I mean, it we, really we, is. we were looking at a situation that maybe. Danny might play at his contract and he'd leave on a free. So effectively, I mean, that's pretty decent, really. Very yeah. decent. Yeah, so. I think. Um, I think the we, we. It sounds silly to say, but I think we'll look back on this transfer window dependent on how well we do in the league. You know, if we can get in, like I say, if we get in another two players in defensive positions, and then we go on and. You know, we do what we need to do. Brilliant. But if we're in, in the position where we only get maybe an, another player in and we're conceding goals, yeah, you know, we might look back going, why we didn't strengthen enough, even if it was those younger players that we could have got hold of. Why didn't like? It's going to be awful if we're going to get to a point in the season going, oh, maybe we should like we should have had it picked up Gary Cahill because we're now out of centre backs. You know, just little things like that. So, yeah. Yeah, you see that Mike it says Twix is all around, so I I, I demand five pounds worth of Twixes. Fantastic, <laughs> David! Thank you so much uh, for the super chat comment. There really does help support the channel and help us keep the lights on and pay for all the Twixes that we have to to celebrate. Good because I tell you now, I demand a lot, and I've and I've changed it up to white Twixes now, so it's like they're more expensive. They're premium. Oh, guy, yeah. such a hipster. Wow, well, well, man. <laughs> Mate, I get it. I get them from the Charlie's, the off license. I don't think I'm that hipster. <laughs> I just described the white Twix as hipster. That's, I've, I've... I would say it's more middle class than hipster. That's yeah. surely. Yeah. Yeah. That's me Fantastic. living up life, that is. I was just going to go back to David's previous comment because I was just literally about to put it up, actually. But uh, thank you for that, David. Really, really do appreciate that. Um, best signing of the transfer window. I'm, I'm going to go. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of is. I'm I'm very impressed with Liveramento for five million quid, um, but to to secure James Ward Prowse contract for five five years, that's five a long years. time, isn't it? That's a long time. Three three years, you're like that's good, that's good. He's staying, but five years, like that's commitment. That's a commi- that's yeah. a commitment to the club. Yeah, absolutely. that's a he knows. You know, it it really puts on him. You know, if if, if, if he's to leave at this point, it's because he's playing extra, extraordinary well, and someone's going to come in for him. Right. a big offer and he keeps up this momentum and you know maybe you know maybe in the summer or two where he is going for like ridiculous maybe not the, I don't want to say greedish money but you know that sort of thing right. or he's the captain for life yeah yeah this is it yeah i mean does this also lock us down to a certain style of play for the next five years not necessarily because i think he, he his position he is but he is versatile so he is. you know it's yeah. not like if, if you there's really ever a a place at the time there's never really a time where you don't want an anchor man in midfield just to be a who can mm. just play balls off those set pieces you'll always need that role no matter what it's whatever goes around and can change i think we're more likely to change in other positions if we, if we do but again you know looking at like i said um liveramento and i think Sameo both sort of said in there when they were when they were coming into the club that they wanted to play with james wall prowse that was a big part of them coming here because of what, you know what him and Theo you know those are the sort of players that you see that have come through an academy and you know they're they're they're, they're renowned now and that's that's a real big draw for the talent yeah. that we want to bring in and I think it that this signing really re- reflects where we're at as a club and what we're trying to do yeah. of, you know you know be the, the Southampton way again you bring young and exciting players in it is it is and and also we're a situation you know we have the the best dead ball player in the league like we we have him. It's like the, we have the guy. So that's absolutely fantastic. He's the reason Roy Keane hates David De Gea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe it'll be a big factor on Sunday. We shall see. Uh, Oliver Wong here. Reckon his agent was using Villa. Uh, Jay Paul Price was pretending to think about moving to get a better contract. 
I, I, to be honest with you, that stuff goes on all the time anyway. So cynical, Oliver. We don't want to hear it here, but probably, yeah, <laughs> it happens. It, it really does, but it certainly doesn't do anything to our resting heart rates because um, we've been we've been stressing about this one. I think. Uh, I think it, it, when I heard the price tag come in, I was like, oh, for God's sake, if there's a number, yeah, somebody will pay that number, and Villa have just got. If there's a number out, it's always five or ten million less as well, isn't it? It's just like yeah. Does this to be like, oh, this deal won't be so bad, and it's like, oh, the deal's terrible. There's nothing we can do about it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah, it is. Uh, so it's just a huge relief, mate. I do. I feel like, and the sort of player perhaps, perhaps is, I feel like he might score now on the weekend. I think that might be a bit of a it makes you feel better. For some reason, it just makes me feel better going into the game at the weekend. Although nothing's really changed, but he's the man, and this is going to make this. Yeah, this is going to make the crowd go off and you know, make that first corner of the game. Whoo! When he goes to the crowd, it's going to be. Let's hope it's by us, eh? Let's hope it's right, right, right in front of us. <laughs> or he spins and just. A... Yeah, that's stance. what I want. The the CR seven stance. Is that the way to the... No, it's fine. It's fine. Um, just hope what happened to VVD doesn't happen to James Will Prowse. Let's hope not. Let's hope not, indeed. Yeah, but Van Dyke was playing more for it was more he was more, he was there more for Coleman, wasn't he? He was there for for the management really. He wasn't there for, for the mm. club. So, you know, Prowse is, Prowse is different. Prowse is our boy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, absolutely. Absolutely. I'm just scrolling through some of these. You know, we yeah. pay for his birth certificate to change so it doesn't say Portsmouth on it anymore. He's very... He's, um, <laughs> he's very thank, thankful towards us. We got that gene out of him. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic stuff. Scrubbed well, off his Pompey dots and we were like, listen, son, we're, we're going to sort you out now. Right? Straight, straight and narrow from now on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, coming here from Joe as well. This will lift the team's confidence. That's for sure. I, I think it also adds stability. You know, the the fact that this has happened, and it, and in fact, I was I was thinking about perhaps doing a video to sort of say reasons why James Ward Prowse isn't leaving, and there were just so many reasons that were just like it's way too late in the window. Um, like because it, if touch wood, uh, he was to depart, that the club will be looking at a significant replacement to to come in, or at least. <laughs> At least you'd hope so, wouldn't you? Um, I think you're pushing it a bit there, but I, I get where you're coming from. I know. I, I realised that when I said it out loud as well. It, it, it suddenly came to came to my mind. But you would think, like, you know, there would be so many other movements that would then happen around the league that that sort of a move can't possibly happen um, so late. So, um, and here we are. This news broke. Here we are. This was good, mate. I feel feel better about going into the weekend a bit now. She's a bit of good news. Yeah. Just hope. Just hope. Uh, let's just hope St. Mary's reflects that. Eh? Come on, come on, guys. Let's uh, let's sh- let's show him. Let's show him why he's staying. Absolutely, absolutely. It's it's down to us. Uh, so for anyone who's travelling uh, to St. Mary's on Sunday, bring the noise. Make it super loud. Um, have you got an email from the club talking about all the protocols of how to enter and? Nope. Where to leave your DNA and all that stuff. I do not. Are they uh, are they doing lateral flow tests? Is that a thing that's happening? Yeah. The, the, the way they're pitching it, sorry just to sidetrack this 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 broadcast a little bit, but for anyone who's going... Has anyone got their season ticket, by the way? Yeah. I think a few people got them today. Apparently they sent them out Monday, Tuesday. Oh, okay. So However, like... I've not received an email back from uh, the club yet, so... Uh... Yeah. You know, it's all, all very interesting. Uh, <laughs> Jam out's got his season ticket. Fantastic. Let us know um, if you've got your season ticket yet. Yeah, I'm still waiting mine. Um, so I'm going to turn up anyway. I think yeah, it's just... the ticket office and sort stuff out and <sighs> stuff like that. There we go. There we go. Um, I can't remember what I was talking about then. Uh, you were talking about going to the game. That's what we were talking about. We were, yes. So there's a few few hoops you got to jump through uh, to get into the stadium, but it, it's all in preparation for something that's going to be coming in in October. But I think you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. That's going to dampen some people's moods. <laughs> that's good. Yes, indeed. Yes, yep. indeed, it is. We're right. gonna we're gonna hear I bet we're gonna hear some very upsetting sentences over over that day. I think I feel like on the way in, yeah, we're gonna hear some grumbles. But you know what? Tough. It's a privilege to watch football. Do as you're told. 
<laughs> oh dear. Uh, here's a question from Scott. Um, do you think Bednarek will start the weekend? I do indeed. Um, I think Bednarek and Stevens will probably start. Bednarek and Stevens? Yes. Going to go with experience. Yep, I think it's going to be an experienced back line. Walker Peters, Bednarak, Stevens, Peru. Although, you know, he's not really. Mm-hmm. Well, he, is, he is, but he isn't. He's the most experienced left back we have. <laughs> yep, yep. He is indeed. But, yeah. And then, yeah, Romeo, Romeo Prowse, Gineppo, Redman. McCarthy or Forster? Forster, don't be stupid. Come on now. Yeah. Let's, let's, talk, let's talk proper sentences if we're here. <laughs> <laughs> No, I just, I just, the more we go on, the more I'm just like, no, McCarthy. I just, the Leeds game, mate, I can't forgive him. We were, so, we, was, we, we, we had such a good seat to see it. Yeah. Yeah, no, it was, it was a bad thing to do. Uh, but just, you know, finally touching on, on the War Prowse thing, I think it's, you know, a massive statement for, for this to come in now so that we can actually put it all to bed. The other question I do have is, do you think this is almost a way that is helping him get into the England situation for for next year's competition i think it's a statement to the league to be like listen prousey's our guy and he performs best on, with us so mm-hmm. this, this is what this is him i think it's a, a bit of a statement from prousey himself to be like listen i don't have to go to one of those bigger teams this this is you know you're gonna see you'll see him at his best here because you know we it is his his side it's yeah. with him you know you, you put him into a a Villa, he probably he can get lost. You put him into a top six club, he'll get lost in the pack. So mm. he knows he's this is where he's going to shine the brightest. So yeah, no, I I, I totally agree. And, and you know when you look at the situation where he's been with the club for eighteen years, I mean that's a significant amount of time to be um, at, at one particular club. And of course that then would make him a club legend. You know, and he's he's played every single minute of every single game for the last two three seasons, something ridiculous yep. like that. Yep, so, two seasons in a row, not missed a game, and you know we're hoping for a third. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, it was just a, a, a quick impromptu broadcast tonight. Thanks everyone so much for joining us. Um, we will of course be going to the game on Sunday. Looking forward to it. Um, but uh, but yeah, no doubt we'll be doing some some post match stuff. Also, just a quick note: uh, the the Oz thing that was going to be happening post game, unfortunately, the, the app's been delayed slightly, so that will possibly roll into the, the Newcastle fixture. Um, so we'll see how bad doing that. They, they send their apologies. Stuff's been built. Um, you mean I search for my headphones for nothing? <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll probably have to... We'll, we'll, we'll do like a, a direct uh, post-match thing straight after the game on, on our phones anyway. So we'll, we'll do something like that. Oh, we're both going to be on our, our separate phones next to yeah, each other. Yeah, it'll look proper like antisocial the way uh, that, okay I'm, man so you want us to get beaten up in public I see I see <laughs> cool 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 yeah yeah I'm just 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 dialing down the coolness of this channel just just rolling it back rolling if it we back. both bought tripods to five guys would people people would judge no, us no right? I'm not saying that I'm saying just, just but like I can phone. see that being the way we can do post games just, just two tripods <laughs> our phones on it at five guys munching on a burger. But like, what do you think of the game then? <laughs> if that doesn't yeah. get us an advertisement, I don't know what will. Absolutely, absolutely. And and I think I did get spotted in a certain another uh, restaurant establishment today. Uh, someone put a message on our on our TikTok thing. So you know, if there's any restaurant establishments that want to sponsor the channel in any means possible, that's legally possible for us to get involved with, then you know, get in contact. You know, and listen, guys, if you see us at the games, I'm sure I'm pretty sure they sell Twixes behind the counter. So just come bring us one at the game, and uh, we'll be good. Right, they sell Twix at the game, or is it, no? It's Cadbury's. They don't. They won't have a. They won't have Nestle products there. Uh, I think they do. I think they do. Think well, you do. know, um, dairy milk will do if it's if they don't. Whatever, whatever you want, guys. Yeah, yeah. Bring me up, dog. I don't mind. <laughs> I was just answering a question there. Will it affect his international career? We kind of touched on that, David. I, I think it. You know, it it cements his position in the Southampton team, and he's definitely going to get his. Uh, his best shot window here. I just think that if he if he had moved on, touch wood, everything would. Um, that he would just, if it didn't work out, he'd just be lost. And do you know what? There's that, that whole kind of legacy thing that you know, if if that was to happen, that would be a, you know, a bit of a tarnish. It would be like a why? Why would you do that? So, um, I think it's uh, you know a massive benefit for him 
and his chances in getting that into that England lineup. So, um, yeah, let's hope for a, a cracking season. But um, but thanks just so much for for joining us here on this broadcast. Um, as always, do remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And me and Jack, we'll see you very very soon. All right, thanks for watching. See you soon. Cheers. Bye. Bye.